Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So, <laughs> as you may have already known through the news, that we finally have a house speaker, but we'll get to that here in just a second. I just kind of want to briefly go over uh, each of the uh, ballots that we had yesterday. Now, obviously in uh, day one, we had uh, ballots one, two, and three, which was January 3rd, which, you know, was Tuesday. Wednesday, we had ballots four, five, and six. Thursday, we had ballots seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And then yesterday, Friday, we had twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So, I just want to briefly go over each of the ballots of yesterday here briefly. So, we have the Republican, Kevin McCarthy, who actually, this was the first time he actually surpassed the Democrat. He got 213 in the first, in that, in the first ballot of yesterday. Hakeem Jeffries, the Democrat, got 211. Jim Jordan of Ohio, which is, you know, my congressman who represents me in Congress, he got four. Kevin Hearn of Oklahoma got three. And three members didn't vote, which the total number of votes was 431, with 216 needed. And McCarthy was short by three. And so we go to the 13th ballot in the second one of the day. With only three nominees. McCarthy of California, Jeffries of New York, and Jordan of Ohio. McCarthy got 214. Jeffries got 212. And Jordan got six. With two not voting. With a total of 432, the votes necessary was 217. McCarthy was, once again, short by three. So, uh, after the 13th ballot, the House decided to adjourn until 10 o'clock. And they were going, they reconvened. And they did the 14th ballot, in which there were four candidates now. McCarthy of California, who got 216. Jeffries from New York, that got 212. Andy Biggs of Arizona got two. And Jordan of Ohio got two, with two voting as present. The total number of that one was 432, with 217 needed. McCarthy was short by one of getting it, and he did not get it. They then decided to, after that one, they decided to vote to adjourn for noon on Monday which is the ninth, and it failed, and they went along with the 15th and final ballot. And it went back down to two candidates, the Republican and the Democrat, McCarthy of California and Jeffries of New York. <sighs> McCarthy got 216. Jeffries got 212. Six voted present. And a total number being 428, with the votes necessary of 215. And he finally got the votes needed. He got the, the 215th vote for himself at roughly around 12.37 a.m., give or take. And 
He was then sworn in by the dean of the house. And then he swore in all the members of the house, as well as the sergeant of arms, the clerk, and the chaplain. So now the house can finally start uh, doing stuff now. So, who were the six that voted present in the 15th ballot? Well, the six that voted present were Biggs of Arizona, Bobert of Colorado, Crane of Texas, oh no, I'm sorry, of Arizona, Gates of Florida, Good of Virginia, and Rosendale of Montana. Those were the six that voted present, the stubborn six Republicans that didn't want McCarthy. So, yeah. So, Kevin McCarthy is now House Speaker, which means that he's now third in line to the presidency. I mean, if Biden and Harris somehow die or is removed from office in any way, shape, or form, he is next in line for president. So, that's all I have for today. Um, I do have to make this quick announcement as well. Um, due to some uh, personal mental issues and like health concerns, I will be taking a break of YouTube for at least a month. So, a month starting today, so it won't be until roughly the 7th of February, which will be a Tuesday. I will not be posting anything that isn't already scheduled for the rest of January. So, I just want to put that out there right now, that if I kind of am quiet for a little bit, that's why. I have a little bit of uh, some mental issues I need to take care of and just give myself a break. <laughs> I think it'll be good for me. It was recommended by my friends and my roommates. You know, I love them dearly. We may not always agree, but I love them. They're my friends. So that's all I have for right now. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you for your understanding. And we will see you in the next video of whatever it may be. I think it's a Q&A video, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember. But anyways, you'll see in whatever the next video is, whenever it goes up. Stay classy, and have a great day.